Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda Family. In this video, I will be starting with new chapter that is based on network devices. So here, in this chapter, I will be explaining you repeater, hub, bridge, switch, router and browser. So let us start with first device that is repeater. So in repeater, first of all, I will be explaining you basics of repeater. After explanation of basics, I will give you practical case studies. That will boost your knowledge regarding how exactly this repeater is functioning. So here, see this repeater that is a two-port device that you should know, and it is physical layer device. In competitive examination, I have seen frequently questions are coming based on repeater is which layer device. Like repeater is functioning at physical layer, and you should know physical layer is layer number one. So sometimes they may ask you like layer 1 device, layer 2 device, layer 3 device. So you should know repeater is layer 1 device that is physical layer device. Right. So you should know here this is layer 1 device. See it does forwarding of the signal. So you should know forwarding of the signal means what? Here repeater will take weak signal and it will regenerate signal with its original strain. So here repeater does forwarding of signal in which it will take weak signal at input side and at output side it will regenerate original strain. See there is a difference in between regeneration of signal and amplification. Let me give you one analogy. For example, as if I say my original signal that is x over here and after some distance that signal becomes x dash which is obviously lower than x right so in amplification in amplification what you do is you will be multiplying amplification factor with x dash so your output will be a into x dash after amplification but in regeneration with repeater what we do is as if original signal is x and after some distance as if it, it becomes x dash then after repeater after repeater Again, you will be generating original strain that is X. So that is what the basic difference in between repeater and amplifier. Right. Now, there is one more basic that you should know. Like it does not do filtering. I will I'll explain you that by one practical case study that will give you more clarity like what is filtering. First of all, you need to understand it does not do filtering. Right. And here collision domain that is maximum. So regarding filtering and regarding how collision domain is maximum, for that I need to give you some practical case studies. Let me explain you first how repeater is being used in market. Like I will give you one practical example. Here you can observe with this floor we are having one Wi-Fi. And by this black color you can observe range of Wi-Fi is there. Right. So this Wi-Fi range that is being shown over here by this black color. Now what if person who is staying in this floor wants to access this Wi-Fi? Is it possible? No. Why the reason is Wi-Fi range that is up to this only, right? So the person who is staying over here cannot access Wi-Fi because of range limitation. So what if we use repeater at second floor? So at this floor, as if we use repeater, then we will be regenerating strength of Wi-Fi over here. And now you see repeater's range that is this. So the person who is staying over here can access internet because of repeater. So here you should understand repeater is used to enlarge the range. Repeater is used to enlarge the range of network. Right. Now let me explain you practically why we are using repeater in normal market. Like for example as if I say here there is a host 1 and host 1 is interested about transferring data to host 4. So host 4 that is available over here. Now if you observe here we are having cable and that cable is 10 base 5. So you should know what is 10 base 5. 10 is speed, 10 Mbps speed is there with this cable and base 5 means 500 meter range that is there with signal. So for example as if I send signal from this end then after 500 meter distance that signal will be weak and it cannot further travel 
to more than 500 meter distance. So here host one will be placing data on this cable and here host four is there. So do you think like this signal which is provided by host one can reach up to host four over here as distance is more than 500 meter you can say data forwarded by H1 cannot reach is to H4. So here in between this we are having repeater. So what repeater does is here original signal is X. Now it becomes X dash right after some distance. So repeater will be regenerating signal. Now it will make it to X again and now that signal can go in this direction and host port can receive that data right. So here because of repeater we can transfer signal to longer range now right now as i have told you it does not do filtering let me explain you how it does not do filtering like for example here i am having communication as per host 5 wants to send data to host 4 so here if you observe host 5 that can place data and it can easily reach is over here right as this distance is short, as this distance is short, this signal that can easily reach over here, right. But that signal will come over here and that will become X dash over here and repeater is not having any intelligence about who is sending, to whom data should be forwarded, right. So repeater will be regenerating this X dash signal which is generated by H pi, right. So it will be again regenerating to X and it will be forwarding it to this network, right. So here, if you observe, the repeater does not filter this signal. Even though host is forwarding data and that has been reached to the destination host, repeater is re-forwarding that over here. So that means here repeater does not do filtering, right. Now, there is one more thing that I have noted over here, like collision domain that is maximum. The collision domain that is maximum with repeater. Why? The reason is here repeater does not do filtering. So all the signals, all the signals that will get repeated and it is getting re-forwarded. Right. So as you use repeater, obviously you will be increasing number of nodes and as you increase number of nodes, there will be more collision. Right. So here collision domain that will be number of hosts connected with this system. So that will be maximum. If I say n number of hosts are connected, then you can say collision domain that will be n over here. So in short, you can say repeater is a physical layer device, layer 1 device. It is just repeating the signal. It is just regenerating the signal. It does not do filtering and collision domain that is maximum which is there with repeater. I request you to give your valuable feedback. The reason is based on your feedback. I'm getting motivation and I request you to send it with your friends even. Thank you so much for watching this video.